So, Department of Mathematics, IIT Bombay is one of the largest mathematics departments in the country and we have the vision of being the best department. I am the first woman HOD of this department. Right from the beginning, there were so many difficulties and hurdles that I could never plan my career. All I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. I was very passionate about teaching. My supervisor, Professor Bhattacharya, who trained me in the area of finite element methods. I was his first female student. He was more nervous, probably, than me trying to start with a PhD degree. He was a strict person, but he had a lot of respect and he appreciated my problems. After seven months of my joining PhD program, I mentioned that I wanted to get married. A couple of years later, I told him that I'm going to have a baby. Then in between, my mother was diagnosed with a terminal illness and my father died, but I believe that the challenges made me a much stronger person. I got a wonderful set of colleagues who really helped me out in all difficulties and helped me share my responsibilities. There are a lot of international projects and national projects which the supervisor and the student can get into trying to identify people who are working in the same research area really helps both me and my research students in understanding the current problems and also the new techniques. She always welcomes new ideas and she always gives us the freedom to express our views, be it in our research or hostel affairs or academic affairs. She is always there for us. She motivates us in every sense. She comes at very early in the department. I'm sure that she will having a hundred meetings around. In spite of all those things, she finds time to chat with us. And she's really caring. Her being the head of the department of mathematics, there's a lot of pressure on her. There's a lot of work she does. I've not met too many people who work so hard in their life, not just the work aspect, but the family and home aspect as well. That's what I love most about my mother. Excellence in Teaching Awards of IIT Bombay has been constituted to recognize the efforts of teachers and it's based on student evaluation. I have received this award three times in my career. The International Math Union, IMU, is doing a great job in helping women network and I find this is a very good program in encouraging students and building a confidence in them. For women who want to really excel in mathematics, you may find difficulties, you may find problems. So never give up on whatever you want to do and do good research. Donc, je suis la sixième dans une famille de sept enfants. J'aime les mathématiques parce que, d'abord, j'avais eu un modèle, mon grand frère. C'est celui qui est enseignant de mathématiques aussi aux États-Unis. Celui que je voulais atteindre. Je me suis rendu compte que j'étais très bien en mathématiques. Par exemple, laquelle j'ai pris, j'ai fait un bac scientifique. Et après, après mon bac, Je me suis inscrite en mathématiques. Il faut être très courageuse quand tu es une fille, parce que pour fréquenter même à Yaoundé, ce n'était pas évident. Pour avoir une place, il fallait bagarrer, pour avoir une place, pour faire cours. Donc, et parfois les garçons nous demandaient, vous les filles qui font les mathématiques, est-ce que vous allez vous marier un jour Ils nous décourageaient souvent comme ça. Et ce qui faisait que ça me motivait à leur montrer que moi aussi je peux faire ce que les garçons font. Le titre de ma thèse c'était la recherche des, des primitives pour la cryptographie à base de couplage. 
c'est vraiment axé sur euh, la cryptographie, sur les couplages, qui est une application de l'algèbre. Là où je suis à Marois, je suis la seule mathématicienne de toute l'université. Je suis affectée au département d'informatique et télécommunications. Je suis dans les cours d'algèbre, arithmétique, théorie des nombres. Première année, j'ai près de 350 étudiants. Mais maintenant, quand même, avec le temps, plus le temps passe, il y a plus de filles qui font l'effort d'être là. Elles arrivent à avoir une licence en mathématiques. Peut-être de continuer, c'est un peu compliqué. C'est pour ça que j'ai eu l'idée de mettre une association pour qu'on encourage toutes celles qui ont l'idée de faire des mathématiques pour qu'on ait plus de femmes mathématiciennes quand même. Parce que si une voit déjà une comme moi, ça peut la motiver à, à faire des mathématiques. Elle dit que si celle-là a pu faire, pourquoi pas moi C'est venu à part 2015. Quand je suis allée au Kenya, il y avait la, la rencontre des femmes mathématiciennes africaines. Quand je suis rentrée, j'ai dit il faut que je, je me supplie de ta station. C'est pour ça qu'en 2016, la CAO m'a vu le jour. Bon, là, maintenant, on peut avoir une vingtaine, une vingtaine de membres. Et l'idée que j'aimerais faire de l'association, c'est qu'on on la transforme un peu comme un laboratoire. Et chacune a sa spécialité. Moi, je suis en cryptographie, il y a d'autres qui font dans l'épidémiologie, et ainsi de suite. Et là, maintenant, dans ces différents domaines, on va faire des connexions et ça va étendre notre. Notre association. C'est même l'un des objectifs de notre association, c'est de promouvoir la jeune fille, les encourager à faire des mathématiques. C'est pour exemple pour laquelle nous commençons à partir du secondaire, on va chercher les enfants au lycée, on leur montre les bienfaits des mathématiques, on encourage à ce que quand ils ont le bac, elles vont choisir les mathématiques d'abord comme filière. Et quand elles, arrivent à, quand elles sont à l'université, on les encourage à avoir une licence, on les motive à avoir un master, après on leur dit pourquoi pas un doctorat. On est à la fois maman, travailleuse et chercheuse, c'est pas évident de concilier tout ça. Et parfois, à un moment donné, tu as envie de laisser. Ah, mon mari, c'est mon premier soutien, parce que sans lui, je n'avais pas eu la thèse. Parce que... Et même quand je suis à Marois, c'est lui qui s'occupe de ses enfants, il travaille aussi. Il est enseignant, il a aussi eu un doctorat en philosophie il y a deux ans. Et lui, quand je suis à Marois, mes enfants me manquent beaucoup. Ils me manquent terriblement. Pour ne pas laisser, moi, ce qui me motive à ne pas laisser, je pense aux petites soeurs qui viennent, je les dis. Mon souhait pour le futur, c'est qu'il y ait plus de filles mathématiciennes. Parce que je me dis que la femme, c'est la mère de la société. Si vous la motivez, elle va faire mieux. Parce qu'une femme veut, elle peut, hein, quand elle le veut d'abord. Et maintenant, quand elle le veut, il faut mettre les moyens pour l'aider à arriver là où elle veut arriver. I come from a family with uh, many uh, strong women. My mother was an engineer, so I grew up always seeing her making computations. Iago loves nature. He likes playing with analytic toys, like toys that have some challenge, and I think I also encourage him to play with those because they were also very part of my childhood. My partner is very supportive of my career. Sometimes have to travel by myself, and I feel safe that Iago is well taken care of by his father. My name is Carolina Araujo. I am a mathematician. I did my undergraduate in Brazil and then I went to Princeton University to do my PhD. I thought that it was a very competitive environment, which I was not used to, and which did not really talk to my heart. I think that my best memories were in my last year of PhD, when we had a little group of women in mathematics. We used to meet for breakfast, sometimes we would go biking in the woods together, 
and having that support was very important for me. I work at INPA, Institute for Pure and Applied Mathematics. I work with algebraic geometry. So I study geometric objects that are defined by algebraic equations. What I've been trying to do is to understand certain geometric spaces by looking at the behavior of curves on the space. My biggest achievement is to be a full researcher at INPA and also I have been invited to be a speaker at the International Congress of Mathematicians in 2018. In Brazil, 25% of researchers in mathematics are women, but they're much less visible. It's not uncommon to see a conference where all the organizers are men and female speakers are sometimes even less than 10%. At this moment, I am the only female permanent researcher here at INPA. This low percentage, it's a problem everywhere in the world. We see this unbalance and this, and this gender gap in mathematics. By excluding girls and women from mathematics, we're losing talents, brains that could be contributing to science. And I feel that it is my moral responsibility to help other women to also excel in their mathematical career. I have two female postdocs. They're talented women, and I think it's important to give them the opportunity to show their work and to excel in the career. Right now in Brazil, we are witnessing various movements of women in mathematics where we try to address the situation. So we organize roundtables and panels to bring this to the community. We are organizing the first world meeting for women in mathematics. It's a silent movement that is happening. This will certainly help in the long run to bring more women to mathematics. For the first time in my life, I am where I want to be. Not only I have achieved my scientific career, but also I am at the point where I feel that I can make a difference and I can contribute to the changes that we must make. My work is in discrete geometry, having very little information and then being able to tell from that very little information what's the object you're ending up with. That's the sort of problems that I really like working with. Lately, I'm working with applications of algebraic geometry to the study of biochemical reaction networks, how the enzyme cascades, how the signaling pathways act in our cells, in our body. Functional differential equations are very useful to describe some phenomena that do not occur instantaneously. I work with probability that involves modeling of stochastic events, which means chance. I work in reaction diffusion equations in mathematical models. You can give meaning to some important concepts in ecology through mathematics. I work on pseudo differential operators. I classify traces and determinants on algebras of these operators. I think a lot of mathematicians talk about math like doing art, and I think that actually what we mean when we say that is that it's a passionate feel, it's an exciting feel, you have the freedom of thought. It's 
really fulfilling at a personal level and an intellectual level. Once you get an answer, you get such a satisfaction. Gives you this impulse, this encouragement to continue and to do it another time. In mathematics, you can really state something for a fact. Things make sense. I want to find theorems, I want to prove things. It's not just the laws of nature, but it's also the way how we make decisions. Sometimes we do some kind of mathematical reasoning, even when we are not conscious of it. Chance is everywhere. So many important things you cannot predict deterministically. I mean, they are subject to uncertainties, like the weather, like poles, understanding the social environment. People say mathematics is not for me. This is not true. It's for you because you are human. We have the ability to speak and to do some math. There is a question of how mathematics could explain the world. We are inside the universe. This is why even if we put into words the circuits in our brain, I feel this is what we do when doing math. It's related to everything because we are constructed the same way as the universe. What happens to women in mathematics is you are challenged constantly because somehow you're different and you do not fit in immediately with the image they have of the mathematician. You are in a gathering where everyone is male except you. It's not only about the codes, it's also about how a man believes that you fit in or not in this world. The most difficult part is like getting comments from professors where the implication was you do not belong here. When people look at me they say I don't think that you do mathematics. They don't believe me so easily so I have to do more work in order for them to believe me. Usually, they ask me if I really did some work. They say, are you sure? Mm, maybe someone else did it already, or it is wrong. <laughs> when I will give the first class for the students, they usually expect some old man that will come and give the classes. I never was discouraged to be a mathematician, especially because I had some uh, strong women who inspired me a lot. Because of that, I have the strength to continue and because also I like very much mathematics. We are losing talents. We are losing points of view. Mathematics has not been portrayed in a realistic way, in the media, in school, everywhere. I think that we need to find a way to make mathematics more appealing, not just to girls, but to everybody, by showing mathematics how it really is, that it's a collaborative activity, that it has to do about thinking and not being fast, that it has to do about learning from others, about sharing experiences. The world belongs to everyone, and being among the top mathematicians in the world with all the community makes you feel a part of something bigger. I think the main way to motivate and to help is by your example. We just work. Now people are starting to recognize the work of female mathematicians and it is the work of many of them in all the areas of mathematics. Women are very talented. 
and you have to have the confidence that you know what you are going to talk about. And once you have this confidence, it's easier because you know it, you just have to explain it. <laughs> Mathematics has this beauty of expressing many different phenomena to group them together in one beautiful concept. When women participate in science, the society wins because we can give something as women, we can give a perspective as women. So I think that when women get involved and when minorities get involved in any field, we all win. I think science wins. We all have a very different experience of what's being a human being and being alive. And so having more inclusive mathematics ultimately is going to make more inclusive academia and more wholesome. And I'm sure that even though mathematics is super abstract, you bring everything in your culture with you to the table. And I think the science we will do is going to be a better science and it's going to be much better implications for the world. <laughs>